Hello guys, I'm Foxy. This is a short video of something players wonder about. Today I'm going to show you how you can light your way in the dark. That especially matters in the mines. You'll see how much light each item provides. We'll start with the most obvious, easy and effective ways and go all the way to the most bizarre. A usual torch. A usual torch can be crafted out of a stick and dry grass. Instead of a usual stick, you can use a sharp one and then such a torch can be placed in the ground or in the wall. After a while, the torch goes out, then you need to light it again. A lantern. Lanterns can be found in chests or crafted in the crafting house. As fuel, you can use sticks, log wedges and coal. Coal burns longer than anything else. Lanterns can be placed on your hip, on the handle of your tool, or on a lantern stand, the backpack attachment that can be made in the crafting house. Lanterns light a large area around you. A flashlight. Flashlight can be made in the crafting house. As fuel, you can also use sticks, log wedges and coal. Coal burns longer than anything else. The flashlight can be placed on your hip, on the tool's handle, or on a lantern stand, the backpack attachment that can be made in the crafting house. A flashlight gives you a beam of light to see far away. A dry grass arrow. You can put a piece of dry grass on any crafted arrow, and then it works just like a torch. The big difference? You can shoot it. Crystal weapons, gems and shards. These shiny things you can get by mining crystal veins down in the mines. Those appear around the 10th level in crystal caverns or deeper. Just hold them or put it on your belt to light the way. A shield with crystal shards. Crystal shards can be used as spikes on your shield. Hold it or put it in an orb. Glowing mushrooms. Glowing mushrooms can be found in the forest or in the mines. If it is a smichi, living one, you can only hold it in your hand. If it is a usual one, you can put it in an orb. A firebug. You can meet firebugs in the total darkness of the mines. Firebug is a friend and you can't put a friend in an orb. You can only hold them to light your way. You can also kill them for more light, but you wouldn't kill a friend, would you? A gotera spore. Sometimes a dying gotera drops a glowing gotera spore. You can hold it or put it in an orb. It doesn't give any light by itself but you can throw it and it will explode in a burst of light. A crystal torch. By combining a sharp stick with a crystal shard, you get a crystal torch. It hardly lights anything, but it's better than nothing. Also, players usually leave crystal torches in the mines close to the stairs to next level. A crystal arrow. Crystal shards can be used as arrowheads. They give a little bit of light and make fighting your arrows in the darkness of the mines much easier. Dry grass. Sometimes you find dry grass here and there. Just burn it and get some light.
Dynamite It can kill Maybe not right away Mine But not silver and mithril Or light the area Fireworks. It's not necessary to put a firework in the ground. You can hold it, light it, and release in the chosen direction. It illuminates a big part and looks awesome. A campfire. Well, you can also make a campfire. You can constantly hit the planes, but why would you? That's all I wanted to show you today. If the video was fun or helpful, please press like and subscribe. You can find more videos about the Township Tale on my channel. Anything to add or ask, welcome to the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye!